Uh, Bennett's unknown sponsor is Avery. Do I send some bias here? Heck yeah! <laughs> I love Bennett. He wears goggles. I wear goggles. We go way back. We go way back. Trying to get that man for the longest time, and now he's at like C4 or C5 or something. Alright, alright, alright. Let's start this. Boom. Audio. Great. Yeah, this is not the episode I expected. This is not the episode I had planned. But welcome back to... Danganronpa Hunger Games. And this is... If you've seen the title, if you've seen the description... An emergency episode of the Hunger Games. Not me, I'm fine. But last tag team episode... And the one before that... We have an issue. <laughs> They were both won by she who shan't be named. So this episode is dedicated to putting someone into the finale who I can trust to take care of her. Because I know she will be there, and at this rate, she'll be your tag team champion. They seem unstoppable, the unstoppable idols. So I need someone here to take them out. And so here are your candidates. Clearly, Shrouded and Mystery and the Pure Boys, they have been able to coexist, work together, they both hold a separate side of the tag team championships, and soon they will be united, but for right now they are basking in the glory of holding gold. And that's dangerous. Dangerous as Hayekus. I mean, she shall, she who shall not be named. Prepare for trouble. Sonya knows how to win games. She's won so many games after games after games in a single season back when she was my ride or die. I can trust her. Fusion Ha. They still got that spark, they still have that energy, they are here today, the big sisters, Sarah and Hina, season of the Asahina, as you already know, the Axe Imposters have Celeste, a valued member of the squad with Teru Teru, at your service, a valued member of the squad, Pinior, with Noel, Ultra Spare Girl, a valued member of the squad, Genocide Tech, and Komaru's here, and I almost didn't put them here, because Komaru, we need to talk, you, you're a Saiyaker, we need to talk. <laughs> The mysterious mascots, we gotta put in Monokuma, the man who, who set up, who, who hosted the killing game that got Saiga KO'd, so you know we gotta, we gotta put Monokuma and one of his partners, Zero the Third in. The Hornbearers, they got that chaos, and if they reign, I, I, I need them to understand that they should reign chaos when Saiga's not there, because otherwise she's gonna win and be tag team champion, we're panicking Rantaro and Sato. Brute Force, Sakura, and Mana. Here to stay, Junko AI and Crazy Hiyoko, Extra Large, Corrupted Co, Junko of the Squad, and so, the Meat Masters Akane and Chie, Peaceful Protest, Kyoko, who found out the truth about Sayaka, and thus, technically leading to her execution, so you know what? We're celebrating Kyoko, good on you. Chiaki is here as well, the unlucky adventure team, Nagito and Bennett, the one manager is Cannon, who's got a whole grudge against the whole first killing game, and you know what? Sayaka's technically the reason that Leon had to to do what he did, and he is now perished, so Cannon probably hates Sayaka too, and she's here with Yukio. To be me, we have Chihiro and Naoto. The pro tag team are no strangers to taking out people who, you know, they, they have enjoyed in the past. Kaede and Shuichi. Makoto's not here because I can't trust him in a game against Sayaka. Hard Knock Life, we have Maki, Valley member of the squad. With Mizuki, strong and soft, we have Nekamaru, Valley member of the squad. And single champion with Mondo. Home run, we have Leon, the man who killed Saiga. With Mahiru. And Liar Liar, we have Kokichi of the squad, here with Venti. And this was thrown together... Maybe... An hour or so after Saika won again, and I said... Next week, we gotta make sure this doesn't happen again. <laughs> so, everyone who didn't enjoy the Saika Fest the past two weeks, a breath of fresh air is here. And everyone who did, and I know who you are, and I've seen your comments like this one, this one, and this one. I didn't say that those were fantastic. Every comment's a fantastic comment, but... No. Pick for a second if they're in the comments. <laughs> you could have fantastic comments. They could be fantastic. Um, I'm gonna pick two, but I'm not gonna pick yet because both champs are here. So you know what we have to do. We got a wheel to spin. Both sets of champions are here, and you know what that means. 
as I start the recording in three, two, one. It's already a rather large chunk already. I think it's blatantly obvious that tag team action is going to hit before singles action. There's This is the first season that technically, because we have two champions, there's a chance that the wheel could get to like 100%. 11, yeah, could get it to 100%. It could. It could. <laughs> I kind of want that to happen, but we'll see. First, we gotta get through this wheel spin, and I don't even know if this one's gonna avoid being hit because we got a good, good sized chunk. It is okay. Well, well. I won the right to a special perk for participating in the killing game. I'm talking about us. Other than that, you're just like all the others. So watch your back. Trust no one. And never forget, you wanted this killing game. So you have to win, no matter what. No matter what. Yeah, there's... Okay, well... Actually, go ahead and keep recording that, because let me tell you, <laughs> I pretty much halfway expected a championship episode, but I didn't expect this, the first spin to, to hit, but, um... Whew. I can say now that, um... Yo, I was not ready for this. Yeah, we don't have to spin that wheel again. Jeez Louise. Trying to mystery, pure boys? I don't know what you're gonna do on this day, but the following match is now a Dongon Rampa Hunger Games Tag Team Title Unification Match. And it starts right now. So if you wanna edit those picks, we have both the light champion, the light side, and the dark side. The dark side, the Shrouded Mystery, the light side, the Pure Boys. Both defending their Hunger Games tag team titles. All of them are on the line. And if one team wins, would one team, unless there's a tie, because I always have to say that now, wins them all. Who will win? I don't know. But all these teams have a shot at the titles and... Are we what? This is week four of competition, technically? Yeah. Yeah. And one of these teams is about to be the new champ. Although, odds for a title retention, not that bad, Horn Bears. Thank you so much for doing it this episode, and not... They won't be in next week's, well they might be in next week's episode. I don't know, I don't know when the, uh... <laughs> when, um... Team that shall not be named, the Unstoppable Wildles, I named them, are coming back. They will probably be back the week after next because they weren't going to be in this original week but i was like let's 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 change up the schedule that's also what i like about the series when things happen we can kind of create an episode based on things happening and that's what that's that's why i still enjoy the, the rng that we see but i'm gonna pick first second and third now because we're about to have a title unification match goodness gracious oh you're dang right i gotta put this on <laughs> Holy and sincerely was not ready. Um, honestly, give me brute force for first. Yeah, give me brute force for first. Give me um, uh, give me prepare for trouble for second. I would love for them to win the titles. I would absolutely love for them to win the titles. I I don't foresee it. Their chances aren't phenomenal, but they're not the worst. But I I gotta hope for them. I gotta give them the second. And give me at your service for third because, yeah, <laughs> those are my picks. <laughs> those are mine. Um, but the titles are on the line, and that means I have to change profiles on the soundboard to the the uh, championship episode one. Be but I think we just gotta go. We gotta roll the die because it's also retribution. I'll just play the music. Hopefully something good will happen. Nothing. Great. They also made me put on this hot jacket. It's not actually that hot, but it is summertime and it's like 90 degrees today. What? 
what do I have over here to summon the die? Um, I'm sure I got something over here. Let me, let me, let me find something for you. Uh, let's see, let's see. A remote control. I've already used a remote control. Uh, lo and behold, we've, we've used a lot of these things up. Magic marker. I've already drawn something on the whiteboard, made it into a door, opened it up, and then lo and behold, it was right there. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, uh, okay, I'll look at this. some bubbles. I'll use that in the future. Keep an eye out for this. <laughs> Yo, what else do we, um, that's a whole ukulele. Can I do something with this? I can't spell dice. Can't spell dice. There's no I chord, unfortunately, so I can't. Or can I? If we put the eye there, if we play a D chord, okay, and a C chord, and I think you already see where this is going, because I am brilliant, an E chord, nothing, it's spelled out dice, dice and everything, okay, well, that sucks. What am I supposed to? Oh, you see the die? I don't see it anywhere. It's. Oh! Who would have thunk? Maybe it was there the whole time, or maybe not. Got to go back and rewind to see if it was there. Let's roll this thing. Retribution match. Who? How many people, rather, will join the retribution match? And how many times are we re simulating for these tag team titles? It looks like as we're coming down, five, a classic. Oh, you know it is going to be a good one. Five people will join the retribution match and we just get a nice little re-simulate of not one time and not two times. Not three times, or four times, but for the titles, on the line, five. Five times. Don't forget, that means we will be adding five people to the Retribution match as I shuffle a bunch of things around on my desk, even though I don't need secret achievements, so I didn't need to shuffle anything yet. But I did need to find a pin, and I found one. Are you ready? We have re-simulated. We now know what's gonna happen. Well, we don't know who's gonna win. Shroud in a mystery, pure boys. All eyes are on you as we go on and we click proceed. We are at the bloodbath. The horn bears. I know that you guys are causing chaos. Chaos is a rampant, but even in the midst of chaos, you still should be able to sound the horn. It is championship action. As Naoto takes a handful of throwing knives, Pennyworth runs away from the cornucopia. Jin also runs away from the cornucopia. A stray bolt of lightning causes Nagito and Chuichi to switch bodies. Uh oh. Yuta finds a turtle inside of the cornucopia and immediately brings it along for the games. Never count him out. Should have, should have, probably should have put him in my picks. I'll be completely honest. Nekomaru runs away from the cornucopia, as does Joe. Zero the third finds a teleporter and teleports themselves right behind AV. I already told you guys, I put up a fence. <laughs> And Zero the Third short, Zero the Third can't jump over no fence. So, runs away from the cornucopia. Junko AI also runs away from the cornucopia. Sudden urge of dread overcomes K as they notice Maki staring at him and Fat Togami's not too keen on the idea of losing his titles. Not too keen on Shrouded and Mystery not being champs after this one. So he starts things with a bang, taking out Mana, Chiaki, Sato, and Hina. Goodness gracious. Alright, Shroud of Mystery, you guys are trying to prove that you may be the true champions. I see. Chihiro breaks Bennett's nose for a basket of bread. Chunko sees a live landmine stashed away in the supply. She tries to avoid it, but Crazy Yoko Extra Large comes charging in and tackles her into the mine, blowing them both to smithereens. You hate to see that. Two, two people who I was like, oh, we can get them in, we can get them in. And they can take down Sayaka, but you know what? Uh, maybe not. 
Hajime argues with Monokuma, but while he does that, just outside of his line of vision, he sees Sarah finding a wizard robe, and I'm telling you now, that man's is enraged. Sakura runs away from the cornucopia. Chie repeatedly stabs Yukiko. Goodness gracious. What a betrayal. Kyoko runs away from the cornucopia, as is Akane. Mondo runs away with a lighter and some rope. Komaru catches Cannon off guard and kills her. Mm. Mm. That's not okay. Taka grabs a machete. Kokichi throws a killer beehive at Kaede, but when the hive bursts open, they fly after Kokichi and sting him to death. Unfortunate. Sonya and Jack fight for a bag. Sonya gives up and retreats. Mahiru ignores the, uh, ignores the games and goes looking for food. Monokuma watches with envy as Noelle and Leon kiss before leaving the cornucopia. Okay, Noelle. Teru Teru grabs as many weapons as possible in case a one was rolled today. Nah, nah, Teru Teru. It was a five. Fantastic five. Rantaro refuses to believe that any of this is real. Mizuki takes his chuckle from his side of the cornucopia, and Venti ignores the opening assembly and plays video games with Celeste instead. We will go on to day one. As Nagito is not funny. It has never been funny, and will never be funny. I, I disagree with that. Nagito, goodness gracious, all of these explosions. Nagito has made me laugh a handful of times. Venti finds Shuichi's hat and puts it on. I don't think that's an upgrade, actually. I love Venti's hat, if I'm being completely honest. Sonya, Mondo, and Kaede join the Adventurer's Guild and are assigned roles based on their stats. Sonya is the Righteous Knight, Mondo is the Wise and Wizard, and Kaede is a janitor. Leon sets off an explosive, killing Pennyworth, K, and Junko AI. One half. One half. One half. A shrouded and mystery is gone. Jin sets up an ice cream shack, nobody comes. Akane receives pancakes from Avi. Good, I, you know what, I believe that. In a feat of amazing strength, Chihiro, strong boy now, crushes so with a boulder. Hajime screams So's name in anguish. Ooh, I see a lot of people down there. Mahiru investigates the school grounds looking for clues. Komaru, Joe, and Teru Teru hunt for other tributes. Shuichi diverts genocide Jack's attention and runs away. Sarah wants to be a stepping stone for everyone. Fat, da Fat Togami sits down next to Sarah and has a talk with her. Chie, Mizuki, and Monokuma unsuccessfully ambush the champ Nekamaru, the agents of chaos for the tag teams Rantaro, and current light side tag team champion Yuta, who killed them instead. They tried to go up against three powerful forces this season and they could not, did not and shall not stand a chance. As we go on, we see the Naoto is being a clown. Celeste and Noel hunt for other tributes. Maki starts a cold Taka. Zero the third, Benin and Kyoko happily join, and Sakura finds a Yeet Ball. It is actually almost Yeet Ball season now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, we got what, two, three weeks until Yeet Ball season. That's dope. I'm excited for that. I hope you are too, but we're gonna proceed. We have already lost 16. During the first day, it is championship action. And it is indeed Eclair et de Lune for Mana, Chiaki, Sato, Hino, Junko, Crazy Hyoko, Extra Large, Yukiko, Kano, Kokichi, Pennyworth, K, Junko AI, Big Junko, So, Chie, Mizuki, Monokuma. We'll see everybody's statuses. We have not lost either of the entirety of the teams for the champs, but let me tell you, they are going strong with four KOs with Betsogami and three for Yuta. Prepare for trouble at Fusion Ha completely in. Big Sister saw Sarah, but she's sharp suited and is still minded as ever, so she could win this whole thing. X and Imposters completely in. At your service still has Noel. Gotta hope for their. I'm still gonna hope for her to win, you know? I'm not biased, but I'm, I'm biased. Ultra Despair Girls have Komaru and Jack. Mysterious mascots still have Zero the Third. The Horn Bears, the Agents of Chaos, still have Rantaro, trying to be the first Agents of Chaos to cash in and win. Brute Force has Sakura. Here to stay and Corrupted Code are completely out. The Meat Masters have Akane, Peaceful Protest with Kyoko. Unlucky Adventure Team has Nagito and Bennett. The Will Manager's completely out. To be me, completely in. So are the Pro Tag Team. But Hard Knock Life still has Maki, Strong and Soft. Home Run, both completely in. And Liar Liar still has that secondary liar, Venti. But. That's only 16 gone, and we have, uh, <laughs> 30 left. That's not too many in the, the broad scheme of things. So let's go on, let's proceed. No feast, no arena event, but we do have night one. As Sonya becomes Hajime's emergency food, it is now up to Jin for that team. Venti signs a petition to change American, ye uh, American football to yeet ball. I almost said American yeet ball to football. That would have been 
Unfortunate. After losing repeatedly to Fat Togami and Chess, Sakura tosses the game board into the campfire Mahiru and Shuichi sing some show tunes together. Bennett is... Uh, Bennett's unknown sponsor is Avi. Do I send some bias here? Heck yeah! <laughs> I love Bennett! He wears goggles. I wear goggles. We go way back. We go way back. Tried to get that man for the longest time, and now he's at like C4 or C5 or something. Mondo. Cuddles up against Terry Terry, Zero the Third hugs Noel, but Noel doesn't like him and kills Zero the Third for it. Maki, Yuta, and Nakamaru sleep in shifts to build each other's trust. Kaede and Genocide Jack decide to do trust falls, but on the very first instant, Kaede, Asylum Akamatsu, steps aside and she lets Genocide Jack fall to the ground. Now Toad's bleeding out, but thankfully, she receives fresh blood from an unknown sponsor. Rantaro is just Akane's split form. A split personality given form, Leon, Celeste, and Chihiro find the Triforce. Nobody stops them as they take a piece for themselves. Leon now has some courage. Celeste wisened among all of them, and now Chihiro, proving earlier after lifting a rock and throwing it onto Cell, has the Triforce of Power, the most powerful person in the game. Jin exploits Nagito's kindness and has him do various humiliating tasks for him. Sarah buys a plush of Komaru and cuddles with it. Kyoko walks a barefoot across a carpet covered in Legos. Going against all logic and reason, she powers through the pain and reaches the other side, and Joe feels himself developing a crush for Taka will proceed now to day two. Mahuru sets up an ice cream check, but nobody comes by, not a soul. Akane hunts for other tributes, Bennett confides in Rantaro, Mondo confesses his love to Maki, Maki replies, cool, see ya homie, and just dips, she just leaves. <laughs> Noel gets drenched in honey, sticky. Venti takes a sip of, oh I see a whole bunch of people down there. A sip of tea, but the scalding hot liquid proves too much for him, so he spits it into Shuichi's face. Chihiro stabs Taka with a sword, then revives him with his wish ring, repeats the process until the wish ring burns their hand. Taka actually runs off, still alive. Teru Teru seems to be dead, but it's a lie. Kyoko, Komaru, and Jin successfully ambush Nagito, Fat Togami, and K. I guess that technically means even if they're is a um what even if there is a tie we technically do have a new champ alert interesting that is very interesting but we'll keep going we lost another three right there as yuda puts all of his faith into a tua sakura throws a discarded dumbbell into naoto sachiro's all alone now so let's accidentally blurts out the fact that she likes hajime in a non-platonic way hajime actually accepts the accidental confession wholeheartedly oh that's just so pleasant joe Gets his hand stuck in a can of Pringles, Sarah steps on a Lego brick wall barefoot but shrugs off the pain, and he sees that Nekamaru is like, I want a nickname similar to sharpshooting steel-minded big sister Sarah. Jack starts to go insane, you were already there, and Leon accidentally steps on a landmine, we've lost another 7. 23 remain, smaller than a standard sized game, but a Claire de Loon that feels all the same. Sonya, Zero the Third, Nagito, Fat Togami. Kaede, Naoto, Leon, and we'll see everybody's statuses. <laughs> One championship team is completely gone, but the pure boys are still completely in. Prepare for Trouble still has Jen, Fusion Ha completely in. Big Sister still have Sarah, Axe and Imposters completely in. At Your Service still has Noel, Ultra Spurgos has Komar with four KOs, goodness gracious, and Genocide Jack. Mysterious mascots are out. Hornbearers still have Rantaro keeping that hope alive. Brute Force has Sakura. Meat Master still have Akane. Peaceful Protest with Kyoko with three KOs. Unlucky Adventure Team with Bennett. To Be Me has Chihiro. Pro Tag Team has Shuichi. Hard Knock Life with Maki. Strong and Soft completely in. Nakamaru three KOs. Mahiru completely alive for her team, but Leon isn't. <laughs> and Liar Liar still has Venti. <sighs> 23 are left. 13 more until you're saving grace picks with a feast. With an arena event, we can get there real fast, real quick. So quickly, in fact, as we proceed. Tonight, too. My Hero starts a fire territory was plagued by a reoccurring nightmare. Akane and Sarah create their own secret code language to communicate safely without any unwanted eavesdroppers. Genocide Jack rests in a fruit tree. Jen violently shakes the tree to retrieve fruit, but it causes Jack to fall on top of him, killing them both. That is a shame. That is no win for Prepare for Trouble. Sakura sets up an outdoor generator, space heater, and floodlights. Noel gets bonked it on the head. Chiro finds a big red button, presses it immediately. Unfortunately, the button was a bomb, and pressing the bomb activated it. You see? You see? 
<laughs> we almost never get that version of the event. But there it is. Hajime challenges Rantaro and Nekamaru to an anything goes pancake eating competition. Rantaro, I see that you've eaten the most pancakes. He wins that. And let me tell you, I'm gonna write his name down. We are getting real close to this episode happening. Rantaro is now in the World Pancake Championship Invitational. As Shuichi's unknown sponsor is Avi, do I sense some bias here? Well, I mean, you know, he's pretty cool. I like him. He's a pretty cool guy. Celeste signs a petition to change American football to Yeet Ball. She's a Yeet Ball champion. That was her first win. Never forget. Talk and Vinci talk about the tribute still alive. Joe buys every single version of Uno for an Avi's wears and despairs. Bennett defeats Kyoko in a fight, but spares her life. Mondo, Komaru, Yuta, and Maki tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. And we keep the mood going, the vibe going. With day three, is Venti's just still alive? Shocking! Sakura and Shuichi hunt for other tributes. Maki hangs up mistletoe in the arena. We gotta talk, Maki. You and I go way back and you're gonna do that? Really, Maki? Really? Hajime tells Rantaro that they did use a cardboard cutout, a cardboard clone cutout of Hajime created by Avi. Those were words. Nekamaro uses a seesaw effect and kills Celeste. Rest in peace to her. Kyoko does a sick kickflip. Sick! Akane, Komaru, Sarah, and Joe talk about their hobbies. Bennett sets up an ice cream stand. Terry Terry joins as Bennett's faithful assistant. It's gonna be interesting because we have Bennett, who's unlucky as heck, and Teru Teru, who's a fantastic cook. Mondo does a cool skateboard trick to amuse Mahiru. Taka finds a violin and begins to play it horribly, much to Noelle's frustration. And Yuta wakes up from a long nap we've only lost four this time. Four more gone brings us down to just 19, nine more into your saving grace picks. But indeed, it is a clear day loom four. Genocide Jack. Jin. Shihiro. Celeste. And we'll see everybody's statuses. Once again, pure boys completely in. But one day could change that, let's be honest. Fusion Ha completely in. They want the titles back, never forget. Big sister still have Sarah. Sarah could become a two time tag team champ today if she wins. Axe and Impostors have Teru Teru. At your service still has Noah. Ultra Dispergos has Komaru. She wants the titles. Uh, she wants the titles again. Uh, and Jack, they just they just lost them at the premiere. Hornbearers have Rantaro. Brute Force has Sakura. Meat Masters has Akane. Peaceful Protest has Kyoko. Uh, Lucky Adventure, Unlucky Adventure Team, they're not lucky at all, has Bennett. And then Shuichi for the Pro Tag Team. Hard Knock Life has Maki. Strong and Soft completely, and Nakamaru wants to hold all of the titles. Home Run has Mahiru, and Liar Liar has Venti. There's just 19 remaining. Most teams do not have two people. In fact, it is just Strong and Soft, the champs. And season, last season's, uh, not starting champs. Well, I guess they started, and then they lost them. So I guess the the end of um, season six champs, Fujian Ha, all have two people. But that could that will probably all change if we click proceed. Will it? I don't know. It might. As night three begins, Shuichi refuses to leave an interterritory side Mondos. Snoring renders, as I put that right there. Noel, Mahiru, and Kyoko unable to sleep. Sarah, feeling especially kind tonight, gives Hajime a muffin. Kamaru gets a hold of my soundboard, and I swear, I don't know what it is about you guys loving Dire Dire Docs playing it in the arena, but it's just happening all the time. It's just Dire Dire Docs left and right. And I love it. But it'll lull you to sleep. So break out your pillow. Your warm milk. Your, your, your sleeping hat. And your, uh, what else? What else do you, do you uh, your blankets? Time for Dire Dire Docs. Akane battles Maki in an intense game of rock, paper, scissors. Akane loses, has a sad feeling in her chest. Maki, <laughs> after the rush of victory, rushes to grab Taka by the throat. Yuta receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Venti is getting a little sleepy, but he knows that he can't win this game if he's asleep. He gets empowered, he feels the power flowing through him, and instead plays something absolutely glorious. Incredible. We'll proceed. <laughs> Joe was too cute for this world and ascended to a different plane of existence. That's Joe out, so it's up to Yuta, who has never won the titles for his team. Can he break the curse and can he do it today to help them retain? I don't know. Rantaro and Bennett get lost in the coldest part of the arena. 
But you know, ben, ben is a, a pyro user, so it'll be okay. Nakamaru finds a big red button, presses it immediately, and unfortunately the button was a bomb, and pressing it, it activated it. As I said earlier, maybe this day will change it? Taka's fine, but... Both of the other teams who had two people in just lost somebody. Sakura tries to sing herself to sleep as we go on to day four. Venti kills Taka, then revives him as an un undone minion. I was like, we just lost Taka too. Did not. Because I'm going to allow that. Akane uses Christmas magic to change the month to December. Akane, please. So what are you doing? Rantaro buys AV merchandise and AV's words into despair. Hajime sets up an ice cream chain. Shuichi joins as Hajime's faithful assistant. They could have been a part of a pro tag team too. Noel finds a bikini and puts it on. It's quite revealing. Wait, this is the wrong simulator. Oh, well, we'll, 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 we'll let it slide. Kamara was not funny. She's never been funny and she will never be funny. She's made me laugh a couple of times. Bennett and Teru Teru fight Yuta and Mahiru. Yuta and Mahiru survive. Yuta's really determined to win this thing. Maki wants to be a stepping stone for everyone else. And Sakura, Kyoko, Sarah, and Mondo hunt for other tributes. We've lost four more. That brings us down to 15. Five more. Until your save of grace picks. But until then, we do give a Claire de Lune 4. Joe. Nakamaru, Bennett, Teru Teru. 15, and just one team is completely in, Fusion Ha. Yuta has 5 KOs. Don't bet against Yuta. Even though it's a title unification match, he could just take them back. He could just take them back. <laughs> he could just take it back. They could just, they could just be like, we're holding on to them. That's a possibility. Big Sister still left Sarah, At Your Service has Noel, Ultra Spur Girls with Komaru, Horn Bear is still keeping that dream alive has Rantaro, Brute Force with Sakura, The Meat Masters with Akane, Kyoko with three for the peaceful protest, this whole row's completely out. <coughs> but we still have Shuichi, Maki, and Mondo from Pro Tag Team, Hard Knock Life, and Strong and Soft, respectively. Home Run still has Mahiru, and Liar Liar still has Venti without a kill to his name, even though he technically killed Taka and he was like, no, I'm bringing you back to life. <laughs> Wouldn't gliding be faster? Let's go. Ahead. Let's go on. Let's proceed. You need five more. And so you're saving grace, but and you could get another five because he's a nut. He's a nut job in these games. He's overpowered. I don't know why he's so OP, but we'll proceed to see if that lasts. Night four. Sakura throws a knife into Sarah's chest. She will not be a two-time tag team champ today. Hajime, stop it. Get some help. Taka was too cute for this world and ascended to a different plane of existence, and now, now, <clears throat> it is 14 different teams, all caught in a 1v1. Actually, 13, because, what, yeah, 14, I was right, I was right. Mondo finds an Etch-a-Sketch, shows Maki the portrait he made for Kyoko. Mondo was treating, cheating on Maki with Kyoko all along, who knew? Noelle, unknowingly eats toxic berries, Venti panics, tries to cure her, and succeeds. That's some, some Genshin love between the characters. They're helping each other out. Mahiru threatens Akane in fluent Japanese. Shuichi and Yuta have a tea party together. While reaching for the kettle, Shuichi knocks it over, spilling imaginary boiling water onto Yuta's lap. Burns like the real thing, though. Kamaru finds a special charm that, just, that uh, allows her to transform into a magical girl now. It's time to fight some evil doers. I wouldn't consider any of the people who are left particularly evil, actually. Rantaro's reflection distorts and shows him his true self. Is he pleased with what he sees? Is he trying? Is he finally seeing that the chaos in him has changed him <clears throat> as a person? Does he want to change that? We'll proceed to see if we can see if something like that happens at the start of the feast. <laughs> and something important does happen at the start of the feast. Other than the cornucopia being replenished with food, weapons, memoirs from the Tribute's family, Sakura accidentally steps on a landmine. Kyoko, Shuichi, Komaru, and Rantaro team up to gather food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs. Venti bashes Yuta's head in with a mace. And you know what that means. It is indeed a new champ alert. The titles will be potentially unified. Still could be a tie. <laughs> don't count that out. Don't count that out. As Mahiru strangles Mahiru, I'm sorry, Maki strangles Mahiru with a rope, Noel bashes Hajime's head against a rock several times, Mondo bleeds out due to untreated injuries, and Akane cannot handle the circumstances and commits suicide. That was a lot of people. In fact, every single event was fatal except for you four gathering items. <laughs> we'll proceed. Because we are down to just a few left as Rantaro questions Kyoko's sanity. Noelle puts on a pair of stutter shades, increasing her aesthetic level tenfold, making 
Maki and Shuichi envious Venti violently shakes the tree to knock loose some fruit, and Komaru tries to sleep through the entire day. We lost quite a few, definitely more than the five that you needed. Eight are gone. And so, after this Claire de Lune 4, Sarah, Taka, Sakura, Yuta, Mahiru, Hajime, Mondo, Akane. We'll see everybody's statuses. This is it. This is it. What's your final seven? Yes, your final seven. <sighs> Are you ready? This is it. One of these people, or two, I don't know, because a tie could still happen. I have to say it every time. But it is time for you guys to make some special picks, some uh, fantastic picks. If your picks are gone, if your picks have perished, it is time to make some. Saving Grace Picks. And we start off with At Your Service, still has Noah with two KOs to her name. Ultra Spur Girls started the season as the champions. Could they find the titles again today? Kamar with four KOs. The Hornbearers caused the chaos that was stirred today. Rantaro may have cleansed that by looking in the mirror, but will it be enough for him to win? Peaceful protest. Kyoko never held a title in this series. Could today be her time to shine? Pro Tag Team. Oddly enough, Kyoko and Shuichi, both two members of the Expert Deductions. Could one of them walk out a part of a new team, being your new Tag Team Champions? Hard Knock Life has Maki. Can she win this thing? She and I go way back. Could today be the day that she brings a title to Mizuki and Kutara? And Liar Liar. Kokichi, former Tag Team Champion, has not been doing so well recently. Could Venti be the one to re-energize the spark and bring a championship to him again. Let it be known, first, second, and third, make those saving grace picks. I will make mine too. Give me at your service for first. Have to. I have to. <laughs> uh, give me a peaceful protest for second, Kyoko, and give me the horn bears for third, actually, Rantaro. I think Rantaro, his performance lately, has dictated that that man deserves a championship. He had two wins in preseason, came the age of chaos, was the one who was robbed by Minofini using slash kill. I think this could be a nice culmination point for him. So give me Noel, Kyoko, and Rantaro. Those are my picks for the title. This is for the title. One of these teams will be your new champs. Hopefully you've made yours too. Because it is time. We're going dilly and dally. It is time for a special samurai woman. I've already said samurai woman, so you know what's going on. We have just seven left. And they are Noel at your service, Komaru, Ultra Despair Girls, Rantaro, Horn Bearers, Kyoko, Peaceful Protest, Pro Tag Team Shuichi, Maki, Hard Knock Life. Liar, Liar, Venti. Liar, Liar, Hard Knock Life, Pro Tag Team, Peaceful Protest, Horn Bearers, Ultra Despair Girls, at your service, all caught with the same determination. The same pulse, the same heartbeat, the same heart rate as that of a samurai woman. Let's see who wins this one. Let's see who will become your new Tag Team Champions. Let's proceed. With Komaru having a dream of Venti winning. Is this a premonition? Kyoko finds an Etch-a-Sketch and shows Rantaro the portrait that she made for him. Rantaro loves it and kisses Kyoko on the forehead. Everyone loves Dire Dire Docs, even Maki. <laughs> but I can't do that. I can't. I can't. <clears throat> In fact, that's the wrong samurai woman. We're going back to this one. We rarely hear it. We rarely hear it, so I gotta bring it back. I'm sorry, Maki, even though you and me go way back. Noelle finds a dapper suit and puts it on, even if it's the wrong simulator, she still looks super fly. Noelle, you were you were collecting all of the outfits in this simulator. In the in the wrong simulator. <clears throat> Shuichi fears Yuta, in fact he fears all the Asahinas. Luckily, they're all out. We'll proceed now to day six. As Rantaro eats cheese puffs, 
Shuichi, Maki, Noel, and Venti go hunting for other tributes, Kyoko finds the remains of a viking ship, pirate ship actually, and Komaru goes hunting, nope, they perished actually, so we can keep on keeping on. As Noel thinks about home, Komaru is gentle with Rantaro, and we have to remember, five of these folk, five of them, are going on to the Retribution match. As Maki finds an Etch-a-Sketch somehow, while distracted, Shuichi sneaks up behind her and kills her, which I think locks in the five that we need for the Retribution. Actually, Rantaro's already in the Retribution match. And is the only one here who is in the, uh... Actually, he's in the singles one. I'm looking at the singles list. I need to bring up the tag team one. So I keep it right here, just so I can flip through it. It's currently Jin Kirigiri, Ryoma, Date, uh, Gonta, nobody who's here. <laughs> Hajime, Kazuichi, and Kai. So, it is anyone's game for that Retribution match. The rest of the six who are here will get something today as we proceed now to Day 7. Rantaro uses his signature move to kill Noel. I will, I will remember that, Rantaro. I will remember that. Komaru receives clean water from her unknown sponsor. Shuichi receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Kyoko camouflages himself in the bushes, and Venti attempts to climb a tree but falls to his death. Venti, wouldn't gliding have been faster? Actually, falling would have been faster, so you know what? I see it. I see it, but we'll proceed. We lost three. It's a heartbreaking three for me, unfortunately, but it is indeed a terrible turnabout for her. Maki, Noel, Venti. But it's not that bad for Noel and Venti because they will join uh, the folks in the tag team retribution match. But who else will join the retribution match? I don't know. But it's more important, more pertinent to find out who wins this thing because they will be your next Danganronpa Hunger Games tag team champions for your final four. And they are all caught in a. I'm not going to say that yet. Specifically, it is Komaru. Rantaro, Kyoko, and Shuichi all caught in what we like to call within our final five a crisis of fate. Could Ultra's Bear Girls get the titles back that they held at the start of the season? Could the Horn Bears be the first agents of chaos to come cash in chaos and then win the titles? Could Peaceful Protest have Kyoko win her first title? Could Shuichi for the Pro Tag Team win his first title? Specifically those two, Kyoko and Shuichi, disbanded from Expert Deductions. Could one of them hold the title with a brand new team? A lot of things are in stake, or at stake rather, in this game. Who will win? Let's find out. Let's proceed. Tonight 7. Komaru confesses her love for Shuichi. Shuichi gives her a look of disapproval and Rantaro unfortunately silently snaps Kyoko's neck. Rest in peace to her, but she will be joining the Retribution match. It's your final three, Komaru, Shuichi, Rantaro. Will it end when I click proceed? It will not. As I, the ultimate jink, comments on how well Komaru's doing, she's actually doing real good. Rantaro watches as Komaru accepts her fate and walks right off of a cliff. Shuichi smells a rat. I thought the Komodo dragons were supposed to take care of those. I thought that they would, I thought that they would eat all the rats, but we are down to your final two. And unless something crazy happens when I click proceed, like an arena event, no, we have just lost two. And we have an interesting final two. After this terrible turnabout four. Kyoko. Komaru. Two. Gone. But one will win. We'll see everybody's statuses. Let's scroll down. Here is where we are. This is an interesting development. We have Rantaro with five KOs and Shuichi with one. It is a 1v1 unless they tie, which I will always say <laughs> because it has happened in a championship match now. <sighs> I have to ask you guys, between the Horn Bears and the Pro Tag Team, who do you think it's going to be? Who do you think it's going to be? Who will it be? Rantaro Shuichi. Rantaro of the Horn Bearers has had a dominating match, has had a dominating preseason. This has been his season. This could be the culmination point. Could he win his very first title in tag team action today? He was an agent of chaos, could set so many records today by being the first agent of chaos to be champion after cashing in chaos. Or, on the other hand, Will it be a man who's also never held a title? A man who was 
lo and behold, faced tag team second places all the time, held tag team almost gold, separated this season from his old tag team. Could this be a fresh start with some fresh gold for Shuichi of the pro tag team? For Sato, will Rantaro win for the Horn Bears? For Makoto and Kaye Day, will Shuichi win for the pro tag team? Rantaro, Shuichi. <clears throat> I do believe it is time to crown. Or both. Or both. Or both. You're never gonna catch me off guard like that again. Rantaro, Shuichi, or both will proceed and see that your new tag team champion in a game of rock, paper, scissors. It is decided. Rantaro battles Shuichi in an intense game of rock, paper, scissors. Rantaro bashes Shuichi's head in with an actual rock, and it has finally happened. A successful cash-in of chaos. And I'll save that all for just a second. I'll save it all for a second. I will save it all for a second. Because... As we proceed, he has had. I'll save it all in just a second. In fact, I did this. This this honestly feels kind of right. It feels kind of right. I won't lie. <laughs> he kind of deserves it. Your winner has had an astonishing season eight. After getting robbed by Monophony in last season's finale. He started to turn things around for himself, won in preseason twice, became an agent of chaos to make sure that a title match was going to be in his hands. And today, he made that happen. The first ever successful chaos cash-in for the championships. Your winners, Rantaro and Sato, and new unified Don Gon Rampa Hunger Games Tag Team Champions. The Hornbearers, Rantaro, take the win and take the titles. I am more than ecstatic for Rantaro, I won't lie to you. If there's anyone in this game, I mean, a lot of people in this game probably could have used the title shot, I, I won't lie. But Rantaro, he has been a heavy hitter, he has been a meme, he has been all over the place for a long time. And now he finally has gold to back up those claims. He really started to take it seriously, we started to not call him the Wish King as much during after his loss to Monopony because he wanted to be a, a serious performer, and boy did he prove it in preseason, boy did he prove it today. Rantaro has just won. The tag team championships. It's like a this, this that was a nice that was like a story arc for Rantaro. <laughs> he can now get back to what he loves the most, wishing for someone a true. Oh gosh, you know what? I mean, I'm actually glad that they won because I think I can trust Rantaro to take out Saika. We love to see that. Rantaro, congratulations to you. And the next five spots will actually be joining the retribution match. And that means I can write down a Mr. Shuichi's name, a Miss uh, Komaru's name, Miss Kyoko Kirigiri, Mr. Vinti, and Miss Noel will all be joining that retribution matchup for their teams. Now, no team is still still no team is completely in the retribution match, but we are getting this this retribution match is filling up. We've had some big roles this season. Which is actually already a third complete. If you can believe it or not. It feels like it just started, but it's already a third complete. Maki took 7th, Akane took 8th, Mondo took 9th, and Hajime rounding off your top 10. Congratulations to them. Yuta, Vatogam, you put up a show today. There were points in time where we were like, they're gonna do it, they're gonna retain. Yuta came in 12th, Vatogam came in 27th. They both had, what, 9 kills together between the two of them. They put on a show, but Rantaro put out, he put on a clinic. A Hunger Games clinic. This man's won this thing, cast in chaos, and won. Can't say that about any other team in the history of teams. So congratulations to you, Rantaro. 
Mana took last. <laughs> you hate to see that, because I do love Mana. But we'll proceed once again. It started off with Pentagami and the Bomb taking out those four. Took out Rantaro's partner, and he was like, I gotta do this for Sato. And boy, did he do it for Sato in a game of rock, paper, scissors. Shuichi didn't see it coming. He should have chose paper, but instead he chose getting a rock smashed against his skull. That never... Never, you can't really beat that. You can't can't really beat that. That's just, that's that's pretty much a that's pretty much a guaranteed win. We'll proceed though. Gosh, I'm actually really happy for Antaro Yuta with five KOs. Fat Togami, Komaru, and Nakamaru all had four. Jin, Kyoko, Leon all had three. Mahiru Noel, Sakura with two. Everyone else had one or less. The Horn Bears, the Pro Tag Team, Ultra Bear Girls were your top three teams, and the Horn Bears once again walk out as your tag team champions it all started off their their whole their whole relationship started off with rng sato found a tuba a sousaphone and rantaro found an ocarina they've carried the start of these games for so long and together now they are champions my friends we'll go back to the reaping this was a nice one. This was a good cash and I think. <laughs> I really enjoyed this. So major congratulations to the Horn Bears. They're the champs. They will be walking into the finale as the champions. And I think it's a very fitting. I think it's very nice that we had a successful chaos cash in. That's all that I can say about that. I love it. I love the Horn Bears. I really do. <laughs> they sound the horn they sound the horns for me when I need them. They're true MVPs. And they won this match. Congratulations to them. And congratulations to the five people who joined the Retribution match. Don't forget about them. And before I end things, make sure that you enter your OCs because that deadline is vastly quickly approaching. June 20th. Make sure you're there by then. Link in the description. And in the community tab. It's, it's you, you, you can find it. It's in the Discord announcements too. Stay classy. Once again, big congratulations to Rantaro. I'm proud of him. You, you, we got everyone clap it up for it. Put a, put a, if you made it this far, if you're somehow at the very, very tail end of this, drop some, some clapping emojis for Rantaro. He deserves it. That man's won this thing. Stay classy, you're listening. Until tomorrow in singles action. Chaos could rain. I don't know. <laughs> These ones are all recorded in order, so I have no idea. Um... But we'll see what happens. Nakamaru is in tomorrow's episode. Could chaos rain? I don't know. Near the Ascent, Toon Link, Baby, United States Avery are taking off. Toodaloo. Flight crew. Congratulations to the Horn Bears once more. Thanks for watching.